seven biggest national park predators. Number seven, an alligator attacked 7-year-old Alexander Texera at the Florida Everglades National Park in 1996. The boy was riding his bike with his father, mother, and two siblings when the gator grabbed the child in its jaws after he tumbled from his bicycle into a shallow canal. The parents, Helio and Maria Texera of Brazil, jumped into the water and started beating on the six-foot reptile until it finally released the son and swam off. Alexander was airlifted to Miami Children's Hospital, where he recovered from puncture wounds to the shoulder and chest. None of the other family members suffered injury. Park Superintendent Richard Ring said it was the first such alligator visitor incident since 1947 when the park was established. Number six, Grizzly Man. That would be Timothy Treadwell, the bear enthusiast, environmentalist, and documentary filmmaker who lived in Alaska's Katmai National Park with grizzly bears for 13 summers. In 2003, when a Kodiak air taxi pilot found Treadwell's campsite abandoned after arriving to pick them up, he contacted local park rangers who later discovered the couple's mangled remains. Treadwell's partial spine, disfigured head, and right forearm and hand with the wristwatch still on were found near the camp. A large male grizzly tagged as Bear 141 was killed by park rangers as they attempted to retrieve the bodies. An on-site necropsy on the animal revealed the bear had partially consumed Treadwell and his girlfriend. This was the first known incident of a person being killed by a bear in the history of Katmai National Park. Treadwell, as you may know, was the subject of the 2005 documentary, Grizzly Man. Did you know grizzly bears can weigh up to 800 pounds and measure up to 9 feet tall when standing on the hind legs? Despite that great size, these animals can run up to 35 miles per hour. Number 5. A bad year for bison? Staying away from wild animals is always good advice. Unfortunately, too many people don't heed that warning. Yellowstone National Park has experienced its share of incidents involving bison attacking people who wanted to get a little too close to the animals. Not the best idea when dealing with a creature that can weigh up to a ton and stands six feet tall. In 2015, a 62-year-old Australian man tried taking a picture of a Yellowstone bison with his iPad, and for his trouble, the 2,000-pound bison charged the man once he got within five yards of it. He was tossed into the air a few times before the animal was finished and then left. The man sustained serious but non-life-threatening injuries and had to be airlifted to the hospital. Also in 2015, a 16-year-old Taiwanese exchange student was gored by a bison while standing only a few feet away from the animal. She turned her back to it while posing for a photo when the bison charged. She had to be taken to the hospital as well with serious injuries but did recover. It's thought she was standing three to six feet away from the animal. Park visitors are told to maintain a distance of at least 25 yards from bison and other big animals. And that same year, this picture was taken by Rich Glamen. You can see a huge bison hammering its head into a man lying prone on a path in Yellowstone. Like many others, that man got too close to the animal when it attacked. 2015 certainly didn't seem to be the best year for tourists at Yellowstone Park, did it? Or bison, for that matter. Well, maybe the animals will get more respect in the future. The American bison was named the National Mammal of the United States in May 2016. Number four. Created in 1915, Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado experienced its first fatal animal attack on a human in 1997. A 10-year-old boy was hiking with his parents and sister on a popular trail in Rocky Mountain National Park when he was attacked by an adult female mountain lion. Mark David Medema had walked ahead of his family when the 88-pound animal attacked and killed the boy. The actual attack was unseen, but Mark's family arrived three to four minutes later to find the mountain lion dragging his body into the wilderness. The parents managed to scare it away, but efforts to revive the boy failed. A female adult mountain lion without cubs was later tracked down and killed in the vicinity of the attack, but it's unknown if it was the same animal involved in the incident. Number three, 
A moose in Alaska's Denali National Park injured two visitors within 10 days, injuring one woman badly enough to merit a trip to the hospital. The woman was taking pictures of the cow moose and her calves when the animal became aggressive and charged the crowd. The moose reared up and brought its hooves down, lacerating the woman's ear and shoulder. Another onlooker was charged by the same moose but received superficial injuries. According to the park, more visitors are hurt there by moose than by bears. Visitors are required to maintain a distance of 25 yards from moose while in the park, but even at that distance, the animals can become spooked. And that is not something you'd want to have happen when you're dealing with an animal that can weigh up to 1,200 pounds and stand up to six and a half feet tall from hoof to shoulder. Number two. Elk at the Grand Canyon are known to be potentially dangerous to humans, especially during the rut. Their behavior can be unpredictable. Known to charge without notice, they can bring the sharp antlers rushing toward a human with some 750 pounds of muscle to propel them. Incidents have included bull elks breaking the legs of visitors who got too close, as well as visitors being gored in the eye. Even when precautions are taken, such as avoiding the animal's territory, the animals are known to maintain their aggression. In 2011, a park employee was gored in the back by an elk while standing on the sidewalk outside a hotel. One reason for the animal's aggressive nature is that they've lost their fear of humans, according to Brandon Holton, a wildlife biologist at Grand Canyon. Roads and campsites can become clogged with elk and cars, leading to so-called elk jams that can last for hours. The animal's numbers keep increasing because hunting them is prohibited at the park, a measure that's often used to control elk populations. Number one. While visiting Montana's Glacier National Park in 2005, Johan Otta and his daughter Jenna were attacked by a grizzly bear. The mother bear seemingly appeared on the mountain trail from out of nowhere with the two cubs. When it was getting close enough to touch his daughter, Otta positioned himself between her and the bear, and that's when the animal attacked, breaking his neck, gouging his right eye, and managing to tear off almost 80% of Otta's scalp. He managed to retain his footing despite the massive injuries and decided there was only one way to come out of the attack alive, by leaping off the mountain. Before he could do so, the bear also attacked his daughter, lacerating her skull, leaving her with broken vertebrae. But when she played dead, the beast wandered away, and that's when she and her father jumped, both of them landing on the same mountain ledge. After some passing hikers were alerted by Jenna's screams, help was called in, but it took another three hours. In 2015, the father and daughter returned to Glacier National Park as part of an ABC TV show that dramatized the attack. Otter said he had a long recovery, but he's run the Boston Marathon half a dozen times since the ordeal. His daughter, meanwhile, is in medical school at Columbia University and plans to become an emergency room physician. 